Hello, in this video I'm going to go over Simple Traffic System 1.0.6. This is a new update that introduces a few new features. We have lane changing, which was probably the most highly requested feature, and with that all of the cars can have their own speed limit, and we can have spawn points on the default waypoint routes without using pooling. We now have four demo scenes. So we have the default demo, and the demo pooling. Those were the previous demo scenes. And now we have the default demo with lane changing, the demo pooling with lane changing. Let's just go ahead and jump into the default demo. So in this demo, what I've done is I've configured, I've actually configured all of the demos to use the spawn points now. So let's go ahead and take just a quick look at the spawn point window. In the next update 1.0.7, I want to focus on bringing all of these different windows that we have, make them all into a single window and clean up any bugs that are related to them, work on setting up some undo functionality and basically just make them feel a little bit better. Um, so to set up spawn points, you'll just load it into the scene and you'll load the routes into the window. You could also unload the routes. When you load the routes, you are gonna get handles on all of the waypoint route waypoints. So you might want to zoom in a little bit and then load the routes. Um, that way you're not using too much of your CPU processing power to draw those handles because they do get drawn every frame. So if you need to move around just go ahead and unload them and then reload them. And then you just click the little S on the waypoint, spawn the spawn point there. That's how you set up spawn points. And on the waypoints routes themselves, there's an option use spawn points. So that's the first change. So the first thing that I'll do is just select AI traffic controller and down at the bottom we have lane changing. Just click enable lane changing. That's all you have to do, but that's not going to set up lane changing automatically. You have to tell the the waypoints and the routes which waypoints they can change into. So we have another new window for that. Tools, simple traffic system, lane connector window. So same deal. I'll go ahead and load the routes. And this one works kind of like the traffic light manager window where we get at the end of each route point we'll get an R. So these two routes that are within the viewport I want to connect. So if I click one and then click it again it'll deselect it and we can see what we have selected in the window. So I'll press the R on both of those routes and then I'll press set up lane change points and what we can see that did is it it went through the route and created some lane change points. So if we actually click on this route, so here we are, and we click on these waypoints, we can see that we have a new array field, which is called lane change points, and that button is basically populating these lane change points to adjacent points on each route. So when you do this to routes, the route should have an equal number of points and the lane change points should be fairly close to each other on the adjacent routes. That way you're creating a navigation path that makes sense. And that's pretty much it. So you would go through all of your routes and click set up lane changing. So I'll go ahead and do that really quick for the scene. I'll probably fast forward the video at this point. Okay, so at this point we've set up all of the lane change connections, so I could go ahead and unload the routes and close this tab. Now I'll just press play 
and we should have a traffic simulation running and the cars can now change lanes. So with this, all of the random cars that are being spawned, they now have a vari variable speed. So we could see I have this AI traffic car random speed script, which is a new script that's attached to the random car. And I have the min speed set to 15 and the max speed set to 35. So when these cars are spawned, they'll all get different speeds. And this basically gives us some variation in the traffic pattern. You could already see based on the, the last demo from 1.0.5, the traffic is more spread out and there's just a variation between the speed. And that has to do with now the simulation is using the spawn points with the random speed. And occasionally when you see cars come up behind each other, um, if there's a slower car in front, it will overtake it. So let's see if we can find a car that's going to overtake another car. See, so that blue car just overtook that yellow car. And uh, that's, that's pretty much how it works. Here we can see the red car just overtook that gray car. So this system had some significant changes. If anybody encounters any bugs, please let me know and I'll work on fixing them immediately. Um, but at this point, I'm just gonna continue working with the simulation and try to make sure it's working as, as good as it possibly can. And, and yeah, so I'll go ahead and jump into the demo pooling. I'm not gonna save this because this is the default demo scene without the engine changing setup. And the pooling scene works the exact same way. Um, you just set up pooling and you set up the lane changing and you just have a better variation of the traffic. It's, it's just a lot more interesting now. And some other additional improvements are that the AI traffic will now slow down instead of coming to an abrupt stop. So the behavior of the actual cars has been improved. And that's about it. There were a number of bug fixes with this update as well. I'm not going to get into those. You could check the release notes if you're interested in that. And again, moving forward, the next major updates are going to be focusing on editor tool usage, just making sure that process is pretty much as good as I can make it. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video, and thanks for your support with Simple Traffic System. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.